Ralph Snyderman is among the nation's most distinguished contemporary leaders of academic medicine. He has advanced health as a physician scientist, as a biotechnology leader, and as creator and chancellor of Duke's nationally renowned integrated academic health system. He has spent the majority of his 46-year medical career at Duke. Perhaps his most impactful contribution to medicine is his tireless championing to reform the U.S. healthcare system into one that focuses on personalized, prospective healthcare that works to prevent disease and chronic illness before they take hold. What became apparent to me, particularly with the emerging understanding of the genomic revolution, we were practicing the wrong way. We were putting out fires, but we were not preventing them. The system is broken because we're trying to intervene at the latest stages of disease, which is the most expensive and least successful time to intervene. I have just increasingly uh, developed an energy and a focus that this is going to be the next transformation in medicine. When he began pushing this at least a decade ago, it wasn't even on the radar screen. We, we didn't even hear this term of prospective medicine. Uh, now, uh, I think there are uh, programs at all the major uh, institutions around the country. Dr. Snyderman's Duke career began in 1965 with an internship and residency. Being an intern at Duke at that time uh, was pretty much uh, analogous, I think, to be uh, in training in the Marine Corps at Quantico. They will devote all their time to the business of becoming members of the most spirited team on earth. After three years at the National Institutes of Health, he returned to Duke in 1972, first as assistant professor, then as full professor and chief of the Division of Rheumatology and Immunology. He was one of the uh, most respected and revered figures in uh, basic immunology research. Dr. Snyderman briefly left Duke in 1987 to become senior vice president of the San Francisco-based biotechnology firm Genentech, where he ushered several drugs through the complex FDA regulatory process. Then, one day in 1989, he received an important call from his good friend and former jogging partner, Bob Lefkowitz from Duke. And I said, Ralph, I want you to sit down. We're gonna have a very fateful conversation. I said, I want you to look at the clock and note the time, I said, because what I'm going to talk to you about now is going to change the course of your life. Dr. Lefkowitz said Dr. Snyderman was being overwhelmingly supported by the Duke University Board of Trustees to become the next Chancellor for Health Affairs and Dean of the Medical School. He was ready to come back to Duke, but nobody would dare anticipate that. Thank God he came. I consider that to be one of the most wonderful opportunities anybody could have in a career in medicine and the fact that it was given to me I consider to be a tremendous honor and a blessing. During his 15-year tenure as Chancellor, Dr. Snyderman led tremendous growth at Duke, including creation of the Duke Clinical Research Institute, the largest academic research organization in the world, the Duke Institute for Genome Sciences and Policy, the Duke University Health System, and Duke Integrative Medicine. He never forgot the fact that he was a doctor. And he appeared on the halls. They knew he was involved with clinical medicine. That's terribly important. He also began the partnership with Singapore, where the Duke University School of Medicine now has an internationally respected sister school. And I am so happy to see the uh, continued and uh, increased leadership that has gone into the internationalization of Duke. And I give Victor Zhao and his leadership team tremendous credit. Dr. Snyderman is married to Renee Snyderman. He has a son, Ted, a Duke graduate who is married with a one-year-old daughter. The Snydermans enjoy traveling extensively, both for work and pleasure. China, Singapore, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, Bali, the Peru, and the Ukraine, where I uh, found the small little village where my parents grew up. Dr. Snyderman says he is deeply honored to receive the Lifetime Achievement Award because it is named in honor of William G. Anlian, a friend for whom he has tremendous respect. There is no individual that is more gracious, uh, more honest, more committed, more loving of Duke University than Bill Anlian. So I'm uh, forever grateful that I was the successor 
to William G. Anley and, and he was there to help support me during the time I was Chancellor. 